All right, good morning. How's it going? Tony, my name is Nahid Chitsas, part of the Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here with us today. Let's thanks dive into things and go rich. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. This is fun. Same here, brother. Let's dive into it. Think and go rich. When did you start? How did you start? So I started, um, so I first got introduced to um, Bob Proctor from a friend of mine, uh, Peter Hurley. And, and so through, you know, reading Bob's stuff and, and really getting getting involved in that kind of stuff, then obviously he, he references Napoleon Hill a ton. You know, he, he gives him a ton of credit. Um, and yeah, in the beginning, you know, I wasn't one of these people who, who took to this like a, like a duck to water, you know, it was, um, it was, it was a bit of a challenge, you know, to kind of, when I was growing up, you know, I'd, I'd see, you know, I grew up in the UK and I'd see Tony Robbins, for example, on the TV and he's so, you know, larger than life and overpowering and stuff. And, and, and to me, I kind of, you know, took a step back from that a little bit, you know, and so, uh, and I, I think he's amazing now, but at the time, I don't know whether it was a cultural thing or what, but, but yeah, it was, it, it took a minute for me to kind of open my mind, basically, um, and not be so narrow minded as, you know, it's just some, some kind of, um, you know, I, 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 some loud guy who's just telling people what to do. Um, and then, and then, as I say, when I, when I first, um, first started getting into Bob, and then obviously Napoleon Hill and things can go rich and now it's 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 everything, right? It's huge. I love it. You say it's everything. Yeah. I agree with that a hundred percent. So let me ask you a question. When you initially started, by the way, I just want to let you know, everybody to some extent, when they start reading the book or getting started in self development, they are a little bit taken back also too, because just way too much information. Yeah. And for me I felt as if I was missing out a lot. Because I didn't know, you know, earlier on my on my career or earlier in life, I didn't know. I thought these things, and and I think these things should be taught in oh, school. So yeah. And so when, when did you start? Thinking. When did you start? I started reading Thinking Gorish twelve years ago. So I was like twenty five, twenty seven. Uh, oh. That's when I was when I started, but I didn't really dive into it. Initially, it was just little, little by little progression, and I didn't know Tony at that time. So little by little, I got introduced to thinking Go Race, Napoleon Hill. Then I saw the people around it, Jim Rohn, you know, Frager of, you know, Zig Zig. I mean, all of these different yeah. gurus mm -hmm. at the time when they were, you know, building up their careers. So I got introduced to them, and that's how I started. So it's totally normal what yeah. you went through at the beginning. I went through the same thing. Good to hear. Good to hear. <laughs> yeah. So when you initially started reading Thinking Go Rich. What were a couple of things that popped out to you right out when you started reading it? Um, so I, I think the main thing I took from it, um, and, and one of the, the things that really grabbed me was the importance of, of developing good habits. And, you know, obviously the, the, the positive mindset and the developing, you know, things that take you towards your one goal, you know, and, and those little incremental steps that are going to take you towards that 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 you know that one goal you have um that for me jumped out to me because it seemed more easy to do you know it was it, it, the, the mindset thing maybe became a little bit later first off it was just the habits because when it's habits you're just literally doing things right doing it over and over again uh, and that seemed like a, a more achievable goal to wake up at a certain time to you know set aside five minutes to you know do one thing or, you know, that, that those, those kind of stuff just seem to be more attainable. And, and that was what popped out to me in the beginning. That is awesome. That is awesome. What are some of the principles that you're utilizing in your life today mm -hmm. that are helping you in your business or career? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the six-step plan was huge for me. Um, because, again, it, 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 I suppose it's the same as the habits, right? You're just doing things. You know, you're not overthinking it. You're not, you know, it's, it's nothing fancy. You're just literally doing things. You know, you're, you're, you know, you're writing stuff down. You're, you know, you're, you're making a commitment to achieve something. But it, 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 it's very simplified, you know. Uh, there, there's a roadmap, and that's what the six-step plan is. It's a roadmap to take you to where you want to go. And if you don't have that, I think it's, you know, if, if, you, 
I don't even know you can make it if you don't have that. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was gonna, I was going to say, if you're not naturally in that mindset, how would you know what to do? But I don't think, maybe nobody is in that natural mindset, so maybe everybody needs that roadmap, that step-by-step -step guide that is not, you know, it, it, it's attainable. You know, it's, 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 pretty, um, it's pretty straightforward. The, the, you know, taking action now is really difficult, but it's still attainable. You know, the... the the um we all know what we need to do to to benefit us right but we we obviously don't always have the whatever it takes to do it right now and and the six step plan um gave me that gave me the the, the ability if you don't have a plan the society or our surrounding and everybody else around us has a plan for us it's just that that plan is probably not beneficial for us. Sure. That's what I think. It's like you changing those patterns and, and it's very control, difficult right? to explain in a short period of time. But your yeah. neural path are already built in before age seven. So a lot of times we get into the habitual activities that we do on a daily basis, nine to five. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a business owner or your regular employee. You do that, but then you want to change it. It's difficult. It, it, it's, it's, it's not easy to, to adjust to a brand new habit. But if you do it in a course of period of time, which is what you just mentioned on the sixth step, yeah. I think that will definitely uh, change the way you think and the way the paths were being built in. And I think those were going to give you a new results that you didn't have before. So I agree with that, with that, the same thing. But let me ask you a question. If you had to recommend this book, Think and Grow It, yeah. why do you think people should pick it up, read it, study it, meditate on it, and really dive into it? Why should people do that? Why should people do that? Right. Um, be, because it, it, it really simplifies things. You know, it, it, it's, I think for, you know, as I say, for me coming as somebody who, who was, I was never of a negative mindset, but I was definitely never consciously positive negativity will come easier than positivity for me. Um, and, and this turned it all around for me. It, 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 and it gave me that roadmap that I keep going back to, that step-by-step -step guide of just do this, you know, and this just do might not be the easiest thing to do, but you can do it. And if you follow it, you know, the habits, is, and the habits are really are huge for me. If you get into these habits, if you do this step-by-step -step guide, then, then it works. You know, but I you've really got to do it. You've got to commit to it. If you don't commit to it, then, you know, you, you're going to really struggle. I agree with that 100%. I was asked on a podcast yesterday that what I think the secret is in the book, and I think Napoleon Hill uh, was genius to put it in the book multiple times. I think uh, almost every other page contains the secret in it. But yeah. one of the secrets for a lot of entrepreneurs that I see, and you just mentioned that, is action. you got to go to work. If you don't yeah. go to work, you don't put in the hours, it doesn't work. So that's right. I, yeah, I it's, how you mentioned that. Yeah, and that, that's going back to the six, six step plan, right? Because one of the the steps is take the action now. You know, figure out what your plan is, and then just make that commitment to do it right now, not tomorrow, not you know, at the end of the month or in the beginning of the month or Monday. Do it now. Um, and I, 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 I definitely, I, I definitely agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us today. Um, I see your work, by the way. Your your Instagram is amazing. I saw the photos. I see the headshots. They're awesome, man. I wish you were in LA so we could get you to do a couple of things for us. But I I've, definitely got, I've got a place today. over in LA, man. Let me know. I've got a, I've definitely, got a studio definitely. downtown DM LA. Me. Yeah, yeah. DM me. Send me information. I love it. I, I, I love your work. I see what you're doing, and it's so cool. Keep it up. We'll speak later, you, hopefully we get to do this more often. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me on. Cheers. You got it, brother. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.